This is a rapid response vehicle, and it's on standby 24-7 to respond to whatever medical emergency calls come in. Oh, sorry, Jan. <sighs> Bit embarrassing. A new case is just in. So we've had a 999 call to see a male with a problem with his head. We know he's over 16, and we don't have any other details than that at the moment. So this could be a huge range of things. We need to get there as quickly as possible. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Chris? Yeah, my hair is just so greasy. It's just like someone's dipped my head in a bucket of lard. Dr Chris, you only called 999 in a real emergency. Sorry, Jan. It's not on. That's what's known as a Jan van telling off. But since we're here, let's see what we can do for the uh, <clears throat> patient. Tell me what's going on. Oh, my hair's just really greasy and it's all lifeless and it feels oily. So I just feel a bit embarrassed to go out with it. And how long has this been going on for? I don't know, like not just today, it's been going on for ages. Have a quick look at it. When you go through puberty, the hormone changes that your body's going through that are helping you grow up stimulate your skin to produce more oil. That oil's called sebum, and it can make your hair really greasy. Though, to be honest, I've never seen anyone with hair quite as greasy as Chris's. What we need to do is wash your hair more frequently. Can you help? Yeah. Great. OK, relax your head back. So that nice, Chris? Oh, it's really good. Ah, I suppose I could do this myself. Well, you should be able to wash your own hair, really, on a regular basis. Oh, marvellous. So, Jan, same time tomorrow? No, this is definitely something you can do for yourself from now on. Sorry. If you've got greasy hair, there are lots of things you can do. There are special shampoos for greasy hair. You can actually get water-free shampoos, which for some people work very well, and you can get hair products which make your hair look less greasy. The one thing you shouldn't do is call an ambulance.